Good morning, guys. I'm Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I am going to be doing today's Ascension messages for February 26th through 29th, 2020. Before I get started, I just want to apologize for not doing very many videos lately. I started a new job, so I'm trying to get used to that. Um, it's Monday through Thursday, so I just really uh, am trying to deal with that the best way that I can and getting used to that. I'm trying to get myself back to my normal things. So, um, you know, but anyway, while I'm sitting here looking at this, the clock says three, three and 21, 21 is how much time I have to do this video. So that you guys know you can look those up on sacred scribes. But, um, anyway, I want to do some spiritual exercises with you guys before we get started with the reading. So I'm just going to go ahead and pray and get right into it. So whatever I do, you can just imagine um, and intend and envision those things happening and they will happen. Okay, so let me get right into this. Source God, higher self, angels, ascended masters, Jesus, Mother Mary, Archangel Raphael, Gabriel, Metatron, Michael, I ask that you come and assist me now in this these spiritual exercises. Help us to ground our energy. If there's any healing that we need to do, please guide us through that as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, at this time, what I want to do is I want to just go ahead and ground our energy into the earth. So what you want to imagine and intend is that you are seeing roots grow out of the bottom of your feet going into the center of the earth. You want to imagine that there's a precious gem there. I like to imagine a diamond, so just see that there. Pull the energy of whatever color it is that you're seeing up through your roots and into your legs. Pull the energy on up through your body. As it goes up through your body, when it gets to your root chakra, see your root chakra expand outside of your body into your auric field. This is the red chakra that's at the bottom of your spine right around your um, reproductive organs. It's a red color. You want to see it shining bright spinning in a clockwise direction, expanded outside and of your human body into your auric field. Push the energy on up into the orange chakra around your navel area. See it bright in color, expanding outside of your physical human body and into your auric field and spinning. See the energy push on up into your solar plexus. This is the yellow chakra around uh, the bottom of your rib area. I see it really bright in color, expanding outside of your human physical body into your auric field. See it spinning. Take the energy on up into your heart chakra. This is the emerald green chakra in between your breasts. See it um, glowing bright emerald green, spinning and, and um, expanded out past your physical human body into your auric field. Push the energy on up into your blue chakra, your throat chakra. That's right at the bottom of your throat and neck where they connect. You want to see this expanding outside of your physical human body. See it shining bright blue. See it spinning. The higher up we go, the more energy you guys may be feeling in your head and ears and things like that. That's completely normal. Okay, let's go on up to our third eye. This is the indigo colored chakra right in between the brows. The eyes, so you want to see this expand, being bright and expand outside of your physical human body into your auric field. See it spinning. Now go on up to your crown chakra. This is the violet chakra at the crown area. You want to see it spinning and really bright in color, spinning outside of your human body and into your auric field. Let's go ahead and bring the energy on up past our crown and connect it to the sky. So now you should be starting to feel balanced, centered. Okay, while we're in this space, let's go ahead and work on manifesting some things that we want into our life. So work on the first thing that you want to manifest. For me, it's uh, my children in my life in loving, positive ways. Mainly my girls, my sons in my life, but my two daughters in my life in loving, positive ways. So... I want to imagine seeing me hug on them, tell them I love them, see us all together, having loving, uh, positive times together, things like that. I want to just imagine and intend that it's already happening. See the universe give that right back to me. I want to feel my cells uh, feel like they're energizing, vibrating as this energy comes back to me. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's work on manifesting the second thing into our life. For me, it's going to be financial security, traveling, doing more healing, having more clients, things like that. So I want to see those things already being done. Feel those feelings of already having it. Joy, excitement, peace, financial security, whatever it is that, I, that I'm trying to manifest in this image. I want to send it out to the universe, see the universe, send it right back to me, feel, feel my cells, just, uh, you know, energize with energy, vibrate as it's being accepted back into my body. Let's work on one more thing that we want to manifest. For me, I'm just going to do a healthier um, diet regimen. I want to see the universe accept that, send it right back to me. Okay, at this time, let's send some energy out of our heart space. Just kind of like, you know, the, the Care Bears, you see the, the energy coming out of their, you know, stomach or whatever. We want to see energy coming out of our heart space and let's send it to um, a particular person or place that needs healing or uh, love and energy. I'm sending it out to both my daughters right now, my son. You just want to see them accept that energy into their heart space, whatever color you want to send. Okay, let's go ahead and send it out to another person or place. And a third person or place we want to send energy out to. Okay, and I was just reminded that I forgot to um, have you guys set up a hedge of protection. So at this time, I'm just going to imagine that I'm seeing Archangel Michael with his sword of protection going straight through my crown chakra all the way down through to my feet connecting to the earth and sky just like we did when we grounded. I want to see a hedge of protection coming out of my body, physical body, and around me. I'm here in 20 feet, but it really doesn't matter how far away that you put it. This is We're going to intend and know that this is going to protect us from any fear, um, doubt, lack, full energies, any energies that may try to attach to our auric field. I ask that at this time that our thoughts, our actions will be put in check by the angels, by higher self. So this just means anytime you're thinking something of lower vibrating energy, getting ready to act or say something in a lower vibrating energy that your guidance or your higher self will check you on this so that you don't do those things. Okay, and at this time, we just want to thank the angels and whoever was here with us guiding us through that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's go ahead and get on with this reading. We are eight minutes in and 202, I was told to tell you guys. What cards do I start with today? Universal Energies, what messages do you have for February 26th through 29th, 2020 for all individuals already aware of their own an ascension journey and going through an awakening process? Please, what messages do you have for February 26th through 29th, 2020 for all individuals already aware of their own an ascension journey and going through? Thank you. The Fairies Who Was Kissed by the Pixies. <clears throat> this is a 21 card, which rounds down to a number three, which means balance. <clears throat> Um, abundance, uh, the, the Ascended Masters are working with you, but this is about assistance, assistance being given, um, your higher self just really uh, pushing, th or not really pushing through, but really giving you intuitive insights that are correct, I'm hearing, so pay attention to your intuitive insights, but this is about assistance, um, just a lot of assistance, calmness because of the assistance. I'm going to read what the card has to say about this. But all I'm hearing is assistance. Guidance, yeah. Okay, 21. Love given, love received. Metaphorical open heart surgery. So this must be guidance through 
clearing of the, the heart or upper heart or going through a lot of emotional um, things as you're going through these challenges and all of that. Um, it says, let me see here. Oh, wow. What can I say here? Love, sweet love. Accept it, burnish it up, add, add to it, and pass it on. The presence of the fairy who was kissed by the pixie suggests giving and receiving of love and intimacy in any of a wide variety of relationships. She gives notice that at this time, that this is a time to open and heal our hearts. Different aspects of our life may well be flowing happily together, healing separations and hurts from the past. Bonding may take place and deep feelings emerge. Changes for the better may occur in all aspects of your life, but especially in relationships, which may be deepening and becoming richer. So the, I was asking as I'm reading this, why did that? Why was I told that this is about assistance, about guidance? And it is. They're saying it's about assistance and guidance through working through these emotional aspects of um, things as you're going through heart healing. A lot of this is about, you know, people getting back together with their family members or children or even uh, spouses that they may have been separated from. But this is about just that giving and receiving of love, being open to receiving love, being open to giving love, unconditional love I'm hearing. The, um, two is also about duality. Uh, one is about having positive uh, thoughts, actions, words, um, like attracts like, so make sure that you're attracting those things by putting positive things by putting positive actions and words out there. Universal energies. What other messages? Am I supposed to take that one? Yes. Okay. The Glancunner. This is a number 62 card. And this card doesn't make me feel very good for whatever reason. It makes me feel like something's lacking or something's missing, but I don't I've never seen this card. Um let me see what it says. I'm hearing taking a look. Um, yeah, the energy I get off of it is just like a kind of like held down energy. I don't know how else to say this, but let me see what it has to say. Okay, illusions, delusion, lust, protection, and clear sight. It is not good to make decisions when blinded by lust, whether it is lust for a person, a thing, or an ideal. We need to pause and take our time before making actual commitments. We need to read the fine print, check out the foundations, get a mechanic to test the so beautiful secondhand car. If we are considering buying something, we can refuse to let ourselves be rushed into it and take time to make sure it is really what we think it is. I'm hearing if you're if you're thinking about moving, make sure that you're praying and getting guidance on moving. If you're thinking about buying a car, the same type of thing. So this is a really about like just contemplating and making sure that we're we're making the the decisions for the right reasons. Thirteen, thirteen, um, just that feeling of acting on impulse is what I'm getting. So try not to act on impulse. That's a sixty-two card, which is about the family dynamic. Um, duality so a lot about learning how to live out of your spiritual side uh, get guidance from your spiritual side your third eye instead of your human emotions and feelings um, and this is a this is like a warning not to be a lustful person and this is over anything ideas people situations what have you and I'm also here in throat chakra activations for some of you. So some of you may, may be going through that as well. What cards am I supposed to go to? Still the fairy cards? Okay. What other messages do you have for February 26th through 20? Thank you. I was heard, told to stop. <clears throat> A collection of pixies. <laughs> okay, again, I'm getting assistance and guidance. Um... That's all they're given to me. Assistance and guidance. This is a 48 card. Um, so the angels may be assisting you. They're always assisting you. It's about abundance. Um, the collective of pixies. Yeah, I'm getting assistance and guidance again, guys. Oh, I don't know what they're trying to show here, but <laughs> I heard assistance and guidance. <laughs> okay. 
duty, willingness, joyful participation, virtue. Pixies have got a lot to do and a lot of things has to do and has to do with a dance. It has to be done so that the flowers grow and the fruit and grass ha will do its photosynthesis thing. The trees will put down their roots properly and other processes will proceed in their proper time at their proper pace. The pressure of the pixie's energetic little etheric feet may, may even be what helps us to keep the world turning at the right speed. At least they claim it does. Okay, um... It says, what is needed here is not only an awareness of duty, but a merry approach to it. The job has to be done, so one might as well do it. Willingly, willingly. Progress through this dance maze step by step. Take joy and pride in achievement. Approach the work with zeal, zest, and zing, and perhaps a little zaniness as well. Otherwise, you might as well not even bother. There is something about this lighthearted approach to your duty that is important at this time in order to achieve the results you want. Okay, it says, additionally, consider the words collective and cooperative as you make your plans. Okay, the reason why I was getting assistance off of this is because they are assisting you in whatever endeavors it is that you're trying to fulfill. This is a lot about people putting their spiritual gifts out there, even their natural talents, but a lot about putting their spiritual gifts out there, getting assistance to be able to put those things out there, not making rash decisions and doing things um, out of impulsiveness, but getting guidance on what to do, how to do it, why to do it, all of those kinds of things. A lot about moving. A lot of people are moving into a different area. This may be moving uh, careers. It may be actual physically moving to a different home or city or state, but I get a lot about moving right now. Um, and this is also about some people coming out of the darkness and into the light is what I'm hearing. So some of you may be going through a dark night of the soul and coming up out of that, receiving assistance um, through that um, all three of these cars are telling me assistance, guidance, listen to your higher self. A lot of people are connecting with higher self and not with the angels and their guides anymore and trusting in what their higher self is saying. I go with what higher self is saying almost all the time. When I'm doing these readings, it's a lot of angels will come in and, and do some guidance and, you know, Jesus and stuff like that. However, like throughout my day, when I get guidance through things, it's higher self giving it to me. It's my soul telling me exactly what to do. It's seeing through other timelines and bringing things back to my life of what I need to do, how I need to do it, how I need to use my gifts, etc. So a lot of people are starting to really connect with higher self right now and not really the guidance. That's a really good place to be. It's really good to be guided by intuition, your higher self, than just your guides. Sometimes your guides aren't going to give you the full aspect of what can happen or they'll tell you by what you're, you're um, wanting and not what is really going on or whatever I'm trying to say. But just make sure you're paying attention to your higher self. The angels and your guidance are going to give you probabilities, not always exactly what is going to happen. So when you're going by higher self, higher self is and intuition is guiding you. It's always right. It's never let me down as long as I'm following that guidance and my intuition. It's always spot on, guys. So unless I'm having a really bad day and I'm not um, really wanting to hear and and um, and go through what I'm being guided to do, then sometimes my human emotions will get in the way. 444, four, four. and those are energetic burps just confirming as what I heard. What other messages do you have, please, for February 26th through 29th, 2020? For all individuals, are anywhere they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process, please? What messages do you have? And I'm running out of time already, guys, so hopefully some more cards will come out. If not, I guess it's <laughs> about assistance. Okay, I Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. Are you listening to what these messages are telling you? A lot of us are. A lot of us aren't. So make sure if you're one of those that are not listening to the messages, make sure that you're doing that. This is repeated messages. Messages that you're getting in through uh, during meditative times or even dream and sleep. I'm about to run out of time, guys. I apologize. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Uh, reading even though I'm running out of time like literally this is about the end <laughs> what other messages do you have please so I guess this reading is really about assistance being available right now I'm hearing yes listening into your intuitive guides uh, listening to your intuitive feelings what other messages do you have please I'm hearing 
animal messages. Animal spirit guides, what messages? Thank you. Wolverine, you're a lot tougher than you think that you are. Push through all of these challenges and move forward and just know that everything's going to be okay. 2002. What other messages do you have, please? I was told to take the mouse. You're overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what is going on. Some of you aren't listening to your intuitive guidance, not putting yourself out there the way that you're supposed to, not picking the right place or the right things to buy or what have you, acting on impulse, and this is getting ready to hang up on me, so I've got to let this go. Um, make sure that you are, I was told to take this card, believe in the impossible. <laughs> I love it. Just know that as you're listening to your intuition and your guidance, everything is going to work out exactly the way it's supposed to. I'm sorry that this was a short reading, but I was guided to do some spiritual exercises with you. So today's I am affirmations is I am whole. I am blessed with success. I am adventurous. I am my own superhero. Like, share, subscribe, and follow if you don't already. Let me know down in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. Everybody have a wonderful day. I love you. Bye.